Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully display our edit portion, right? That means here from here, if you want to edit any your brand, then you can edit it from to this area. So if you click as on edit, then it will be redirected to the edit and a specific one of the ID and it's display your brand name and the images. And also it display that existing image. So now I want to do, I want to update these portions. Like here, if you want to update this brand name, if you want to update, change that images, how can do that work in this video? I will show you that things with a live example. So for doing this, uh, we have to do, we have to create on our form. That means when you click in particular this button, automatically it should be put some of the action into the form area. That means that is our update button and also they have one of the form, right? So now we have to do, we have to work in particular this form area. So I have already, I have updated that URL is a brand and the update and with a specific one of the ID, it should be updated. So we have to do, we have to create this URL. And before create this URL also here, you can see that the post method. So for the post method, as I told you friend, we have to do, we have to add that NC type, right? So we did the same things for into the index maybe. Uh, into the index that have also on the form you can see that is actually the NC type so make that sure you add that NC type better I copy it from here and now I paste it so that is our images so when you upload any images our this NC type will be needed without this NC type uh, form data you cannot update any images right so make that sure you add this part and also here one things like when you update your new image right so when you update your new image our old image will be needed because of all specific these two id they have already existing one of the image so here we have to do we have to replace it right so we have to replace it so for the reasons here i want to do i want to take one of the hidden field for getting our this specific id so if you want to get it that means here after this uh, csrf okay so after this csrf i want to do and to add one of the input field Everything will be very clear to you why I'm actually using it. I take on the input. Uh, so that will be the input field. So why it's actually not giving me any instruction. That is input. So that is input. Okay. So into the input type, I want to do, I want to make it type will be as a hidden type. Okay. I make it as a hidden type. And into the hidden type, I name this field. I name this field as a, whatever you want. So right now, make it as a old underscore image. Okay. So into the old image area, I want to do, I want to add that value. So I want to add that value. Our value will be what? Our value will be our existing image. So our existing image, I have already discussed about that things with you. With these brands, that will be our existing image, right? So because of all from here, I get all that our data with these brands. So now I want to do uh, here um, into the value area with this uh, brand i want to do i want to add our image our existing field image our field name as a brand image so that will be our existing image right so i want to add that our field name as a brand brand underscore image i hope it's very much clear to you friend so this field is the hidden field so this field will be not visible because, but here which will be needed uh, I will show you like right now first of all I want to do I want to create our this URL so and also they have one of the ID now go to our web route into the web route that is our update portion so here better I copy it okay and that will be as a post method make that sure that is actually post method and into the edit I have already updated it as a brand update with a specific ID so I name it as a brand update and then they have the ID. Now in our um, brand controller, I want to create one of the method as an update. So now we have to do, we have to create it, right? So now go to our brand controller, into the brand controller, after that edit, I want to do, I want to create another one as a public and then function, sorry, function, and then our update. So I want to do, I want to add it. And also when you working with the update, as I told you friend, we have to do, we have to actually add that request. Remember? So we have to add that request, request and the dollar request. So that is actually the pretty much same format. And also that have one of the ID. Because of all here you can see, that have also one of the ID. We have to also add that our requested ID. So that will be our requested ID. So now I simply add it in particular that area. Perfect. 
and after that if you want to add some of the validation you can add that validation and everything will be just like our um, just like our this portion that means our store data right that means i have already created one of the store method as a store brand so now i copy everything okay so that is actually one of the first bracket so i copy everything so return so i copy everything better okay i copy everything it will be just like that same here i copy it and now in our brand here in particular that position i want to do and to paste it perfect so for the validation here i want to do and to change that validation like here we don't need that image okay because of all uh, here we don't add any image validation because from to this position we have to actually updated that image right so image will be as a open and there's a brand name unique and right now we don't need this unique brand name because of all some of the time user may want to update only the images not the brand rather than it should be actually get some of the validation message that this brand is already exist right so this type of one of the validation it should be display but i make it as a required and also i make it as a minimum four character and then brand name required and then minimum character it should be display brand longer than the four characters so that is our validation perfect so here we don't need to change anything is now great and then our brand image so brand image will be just like that same okay that will be that just like that same our brand image and then it will be created one of the unique id and it will be star uh, mr to lower and then get the client extension it will be created one of the unique id and then dot that extension uploaded with the same folder everything will be same okay so friend here we don't need to do anything so here we don't need to do anything only here we have to do when i want to do uh, that means when you new a new images will be uploaded our old image that means into the database uh, in our folder here already this picture is saved right when i want to replace this image automatically this will be replaced by our new image so i want to do this image will be unlink okay this image will be unlink and then here our new image will be added so if you want to do that work so for doing this um, here okay after this after this here i want to do i want to take one of the variable i take one of the variable as a old okay old underscore image oh sorry image so old image means our requested that means the requested and with this requested here you can see friend i have all already declared one of the field that means one of the hidden field and i take that name as a old image so this old image means what this old image means which image is already existing in our brand image position that means brand image field right so into the brand image field that have already one of the images exist so that is the image i take it so that is our field name as a old image so now i want to do and to add that our this will be our this requested old image okay friend i hope it's very much clear to you so now i simply add this part okay and that this art so now i want to do i want to actually unlink this that means i want to remove this our old image so if you want to remove it so here that is our old image i take the things with this variable so now i want to do i want to unlink it that means here hmm, there is a before that was actually insert for insert this data so now first of all i want to do and to unlink okay i want to unlink that is one of the building function of laravel and here i want to unlink our which one i want to unlink our old image which image is already exist in our brand image area so here i want to do i want to unlink it right friend and then there is a brand not uh, into the brand area they have also one of the id that means this requested id right so here we have to do we have to add it that means um, that will be not insert here i want to do before insert it i want to actually find it that is a find find our data that means our requested id so our requested id will be as a this one and when will we get this our requested id then it should be update so i simply have added that our update function okay and then our brand name will be updated and our images that brand images will be updated and then the create that created ad will be updated perfect and when it will be updated it should be returned redirect to the back page with successful message as a brand updated okay updated successfully so this type of one of the message it should be display 
so that's all you have to do friend i hope every part is very much clear to you now let's first of all i have to check it now click the save all now go here refresh it so now it's showing unexpected syntax error unexpected brand so here you can see i didn't add that semicolon so here um, you can see also showing on the error so that is our link here i didn't add that semicolon okay so make that sure you add that semicolon and also here um, that is our image here i add it perfect now let's check this out again click as a save all error error is gone click as a refresh yeah it's not perfect so now i want to do i want to update our this gucci okay and like if you go to brand that is our test so if you look at the edit so i want to edit it as a test one okay or test one and also i want to update that our choose image so now i want to do i want to choose another new image that means this one click as open so that will be our new image right so now i want to do this will be replace it that means it should be replaced and it should be replaced with our new image so now let's do that work there's an update yes you can see friend it's now updated that means that is our update brand is updated and also you can see image is updated so if you go here yes you can see friend our old image is replaced with our new image so that is the things i want to do so for the reasons here i take our this existing image and this existing image i make it as a link that means it will be remove our old image and our new image will be updated okay so you can see there is our brand image new image will be updated and after that that should be redirected to our back page with the success message so better i want to do and to make it as a if you want to display it in same page then you have to do you have to actually work in our back page means our edit page right so into the edit page here you can see there have no uh, message so better i want to do from the index i want to actually get this image that means if this have any success message it will be display so after that edit brand better here okay after this here i want to do under display it click the save all and now go here go to the brand and now edit it and change it as a gucci one choose that images i want to choose this one click as open update image yeah it's now showing as a brand updated successful and you can see update brand name is updated image is also updated and that is our existing image is visible if you go our folder yeah you can see it's now replaced with our new image not it's inserted again with the new image so perfectly it's now replace it but here one things you have to update actually both of this because here i have already had some of the validation like if you only want to update that image uh, like i choose this image click as the update image now you can see it's now showing as a brand updated successfully that means image is updated but here if you want to uh, this one that means i only want to update it, that name that means this name if you want to update it click as the update image now you can see it's now getting some of the error it's because of all here i add some of the validation so i want to do um i want to make it as a i only when i want only want to update it, that brand image and then after that if you want to update that brand automatically it will be updated and rather than if you don't want to update it, um, the brand name or the images then you can actually choose it so how can do that work you can do it very easily friend here you have to do you have to add uh, one of the simple condition i show you into the brand controller here so here after this uh, there is our brand there is a brand name so after this here i want to do i want to add one of the if condition okay i add one of the if condition and the if and also here we have to do we have to add another one as the else so into the brand Mm, that is actually that means if there have any image okay that means if there have any image then uh, you just add that action so i want to add this action okay and then else else it will be do another work okay so that is our if condition and the else condition so into the if area i want to do i want to take everything i want to take everything i copy it or cut it from here and if they have any brand image then it should be updated this portion 
okay that means it will be executed or this portion perfect and else else it should be do the another things else, else it should be do um, just only updated that brand name so that is a brand name is this one so better i copy it i copy all things from here and into the else area it should be only then updated uh, that's brand name not the images so i simply remove that image okay so that will be removed perfect so also here it will be back to the word same page also it will be back to the same page and here there is if condition and if there have any images it will be update this image portion with the images and also else it will be updated okay it will be updated another one that is else it will be updated only that brand name perfect so that's all that's all we have to do now let's check this out okay so now let's check this out if you know click the save all now go back click as a brand again so now i want to do and to update it, that image now click as edit i only want to update this name i don't want to update that image okay now click as the update image that means update brand yes you can see it's now successfully updated that means our text is updated if you go to our brand yeah our text brand name is updated so now i want to do i don't want to update it, that brand name i only want to update that brand image now click as edit so now choose that image i want to choose uh, this one right now okay or this one click as the open and now click as the update brand yes you can see it's now successfully updated our brand name is the same but our image is updated if you go to our brand yeah you can see there is our test and there is our brand image is updated and if you go to our folder you can see there is actually the three pictures so always it's replaced with the new images okay so friend i hope you enjoyed very much so every functionality which is very much essential i share everything with you so if you actually practice it that is the main core functionality friend so if you actually understand this main core functionality you can create any dynamic website as per your demand okay friend so here we successfully complete our update portion we successfully complete that edit portions right now you can edit it and also you can update it so in our next video i want to discuss about the delete portion then our this code application will be successfully done so here we read it we can insert this data we can edit and also can also update it so we can delete this data in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video